William Reynolds, and in right field will be Wesley Bradford. Bobby Nichols steps in for Central Methodist. Nichols, 322 on the year, two home runs, 22 RBIs. Leads the heart in stolen bases with 52. That is second in the NAIA. And the first pitch taken for a strike. 5.05 first pitch here for game three. The winner of this game will move on to play the winner of Clark and Park tonight. And that's going to be a leadoff single for Bobby Nichols. Nichols struck out swinging his first at bat. Now the 0-1, and that one is going to be driven out to left center field. The wind is blowing that way, and that ball is not coming back. So on the second pitch of the at-bat, Bobby Nichols hits one over the fence at left center field, and the score is now 1-0 in favor of Central Methodist. Second base, second base. Mm. What was that? To the same? I just cut her, yeah. You're one now, though. Man. This is slider. This is Oh, shit. Man. Peace. Yeah, that's the one. for the pilots. Looked like Wunnenberg's mask went further than the ball. This one hit in the right field. That might bring home the first run of the game. Throw home is high into the backstop. The Eagles are on the board. Throw down the second to get the runner is not in time. So that'll be a single, an RBI single and then Runner goes, safe at second, and I think it was a ball. I think so.
Not to see. It was the last time for Central no, Methodist. No, not, not, uh, not the case this time. Bobby Nichols single into center field. That will score a run. Grant Victor crosses home plate. So the first pitch that he saw after that timeout. He that starting off his day throwing a ball. Again, Bobby Nichols back up here for Central Methodist. And that one is going to be driven down the left field line, and it's going to be fair. McDonald around third, and he will score. Nichols into second with an RBI double. Squares the bunt. It is down. Van Beesler picks it up, and it's going to be an infield single. There goes Nichols, check swing. They ask no, and Nichols in with another steal, his second of the game. Into center field, not deep. Tagging. Wow, he can fly. <laughs> you don't see a lot of guys tagging on a medium depth fly ball. Well done. Runner on first is McDonald reaching on the fielder's choice. Breaking ball. Just past the diving attempt by Slayton. The throw is in. McDonald is going to advance to third base. So runners on the corners now on the second single of the afternoon for Bobby Nichols to bring to the plate. Second baseman, Tommaso Giarello. He drew a walk his first time up and then scored on the three-run home run off the bat of Robbie Merced. Nichols takes off. Throw is high. The throw is down. And it's not in time, so he'll get the stolen base. Bobby Nichols steps in for the Eagles. Nichols is one for three. Singled in his last plate appearance back in the fifth inning. In the right field, base hit Nichols. Ruckman around third. The throw in from Simon. Just up the line. Out of Detroit, Michigan. Conference leader in stolen bases with 54. Down the right field line. Base hit for Nichols. That's going to be at least two off the wall, fielded by Torrance, and Nichols will stop at second, a leadoff and double. Every pitcher that's listening to us right now is just mad at me because I think I just jinxed him. That is... You me. did... I did right over right over the pitcher in between the gap over second and these four. Two ninety eight his batting average on the season. Runner goes, pitches I believe called a strike to throw to second base a little bit off the mark. So Bobby four. Nickel. Two ninety eight his batting average on the season. Runner goes, pitches I believe called a strike to throw to second. Nichols a 451 on base percentage. That's what you want to see out of your leadoff guy. Lines that one to center field. It'll drop in for the base hit. And the first hit of the afternoon, or still morning, I guess, aren't we? For well, the Central the Kansas Man. versus Detroit, Michigan in this matchup between pitcher and batter. Line hard into center field, and that will drop. For just a moment, Tate Johnson. Current temperature 63 degrees, so we dropped about 12 degrees after that storm front came through. 
A little flare out into right center field. And Bobby Nichols picks up another hit. That's his third of the afternoon. He's been on base.